वेलकम बैक टू कैट कैन ट्यूटोरियल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू असेंबल डिजाइन एंड असेंबल ए ब्यूटीफुल बेरिंग सी वी विल डिजाइन सेपरेटली इनर आउटर रिंग दिस इन साइड बॉल एंड दिस केज आउटसाइड एंड वी विल फिक्स दिस रिवेट ऑल्सो सी दिस रिवेट फ्रॉम बोथ साइड श्योर यू विल इंजॉय सो लेट स्टार्ट द असेंबली एंड डिजाइन ऑफ सॉरी बॉल बेरिंग now we will sketch first part of ball bearing inner ring so let's start choose front plane sketch select center line and draw one center line passing through origin now choose center rectangle okay now we will assign dimension keep the length 31 mm and make this distance 53 mm and this distance 65 mm okay now select center line and draw one center line to origin make sure it is vertical now select center point arc draw one arc inside the box now exit choose a smart dimension select distance from here to this line 8 mm and keep the radius 12 mm okay now choose trim and trim inside inside okay now select this side line and this side line make equal equal relation okay now revolve boss base select this as a axis okay select chamfer select 2.1 and select this face okay now inner outer ring is ready now save it new folder ball bearing right outer ring okay now we will make second part inner ring so choose front plane sketch select center line and draw one center line horizontal line okay now select center rectangle draw one rectangle like this okay now we will assign dimension assign 31 mm A distance from here to this line 25 mm and outer line 37 mm okay now select center point arc and draw one arc now exit select one center line connect from origin point make sure it is vertical okay now again choose distance from this point to this line 8 mm and radius keep 12 mm okay choose trim entities and trim inside portion okay now select this outside line both both side make relation equal okay now choose chap fillet select 2.1 mm and select both end corners okay now our structure is fully defined so go to feature select revolve boss base and choose this line as a axis okay 
now this inner ring is ready now save it inner ring now go for next part now ball. we will sketch third part of ball bearing ball so choose front plane sketch select line and draw one line just go back and draw a half circle okay now exit from the line just select this center of the line shift key origin point and here choose make coincident now it is center choose the smart dimension and keep the length 12 mm 12 mm okay uh, no keep 24 mm okay now choose revolve boss base select this okay now save it ball now this is the ball we saved now go for another part now we are going to sketch cage for ball bearing so choose front plane sketch draw two circles from origin point now assign diameter outer one 94 mm and inside 86 mm ok select extrude boss base choose mid plane keep width 16 mm ok now select this face sketch normal choose center line and draw one center line exit select a line and draw one line go back and draw a half circle exit from the line choose circle draw one circle up to mid and assign diameter 90 mm and ok now select the center point of this line and select this diameter first select this for construction now center point and this line click here relation make coincident ok delete this relation now choose this point and this point make coincide now it is coincide with this ok now select revolve cut see is going to cut from inside select ok now choose fillet 2.1 mm and select both the corners ok now here show item and click temporary axis now see temporary axis are visible now choose circular pattern select this cutout and this choose this line as a axis we want 8 numbers 360 degree equal spacing ok now see the half portion is created now select shell keep thickness 1.5 mm and select this outer face back face and inside face only re remaining this outside face 1.5 mm ok see now do one thing 
स्केच क्लिक स्केच सेलेक्ट हियर शो दिस लुकिंग सेलेक्ट दिस पोर्शन now our circle is looking small so just select edit sketch choose smart dimension and select this radius keep this radius 12 mm now exit okay now our sketch looking perfect select this face sketch normal now choose a center line and draw one line from here to this circle exit choose circle and draw one circle here and assign diameter 2 mm okay now select now assign 360 by 16 mm this is the our angle okay select extruded cut and choose through all is going to cut okay now select circular pattern choose this axis eight number extrude cut hole okay now select this geometry hide now the same as here temporary axis also hide now this is the cage for ball bearing now save it as a cage now we will start assembly for cage for ball bearing now we are going to start assembly of ball bearing so let's start choose new assembly now select browse select this all parts ball bearing four parts open ball cage inner and outer ring make plain white now first select this one bent inside okay now choose advanced mat width select this side this side this side and this side choose okay okay now drag ball here right click float the ball now we will do one thing ball ball front and inner ring front press control and front select mat it is going to mat okay now bring here ball right and inner ring right select okay okay now just drag up select ball choose mat and select this inside select flip mat okay okay now see this one select fixed now this now make it float select this outside fix now see it is rotating inside now we will make circular component choose ball 
select temporary axis and select here this axis and make 8 number of balls ok now see it is rotating 8 number of balls now bring this part here choose mat select this center line this here very small looking here and select this center choose ok drag it this side now select ball and this inside face see it is fixed with he here now we will make reverse so just go to back reverse ok now we want to make mirror for this so select mirror component select this face we want to mirror on this face and choose this body ok now here one key select next now see it's showing your component going to be mirror this side choose ok now hide temporary axis now see it is rotating now your ball bearing is ready now only we have to fix some rivet so go to toolbox dine choose pin pin in that choose rivet and here one rivet this 66 just drag it here now it is asking keep size 2 mm and select 6 number choose ok cancel see now we will make mirror so again show temporary axis choose circular pattern and select this select this as a axis keep 8 numbers because there are 8 number of holes select ok now hide now we will change the color for bearing go to reference geometry and select plain carbon steel all that's it now see this is the ball bearing now your ball bearing is ready this is very beautiful and pleasant ball bearing i hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to share and like our videos in our channel and don't forget to sub subscribe our channel thanks for watching